just um, just hellish at every step. Um, I don't know why it is. Every time I, I write a song, other people try and demand some kind of creative input uh, into you know into their own parts, into the the, the drum parts, bass parts, cello parts. Um, disgusting. Okay, fine. It's been uh, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, I was lucky to get Tom Tom Rice uh, involved on the drums at a very early stage in the process. Uh, I was already familiar with him from various other bands that he's played with, namely Conum, uh, who are another Manchester band. Uh, you should definitely check them out. K O N O M. Uh, if you like your prog rock, prog metal type stuff. Um, but you know, being already familiar with him and being confident in the knowledge of what he can do, it kind of gives you a, a compositional freedom, uh, which is just really nice. You, you don't have to worry about, is this going to be possible to do? You know everything's going to be fine. Um, and Al, obviously, Alex Jolly on bass, um, obviously we've played together for God knows how many years Inspires, so I was obviously um, more than familiar with his abilities beforehand as well, um, and he was the obvious choice for bass really I really wanted a kind of fretlessness um, dri dri driving this album uh, and I'm pretty certain that we've we'd achieved that but I'm more or less allergic to uh, allergic to complimenting him to saying anything nice about him at all um, there is a chance he may actually watch this so uh, we'll just leave that one leave, leave that one there but yeah in terms of uh, how it works with those two I I gave them the songs and they took them away and just kind of completely did their own thing with them uh, which despite my little joke earlier on uh, I was very happy about um, Tom in particular barely even listened to the kind of guide drums that I put on there in the first place um, which you know as any songwriter will know is a little bit scary it's kind of like you know my vision my precious vision um, <laughs> but uh, you know you learn that you know other people in fact have visions as well uh, that aren't that much worse than yours, just a, just a little bit worse. In terms of strings, I, I just kind of on a whim decided to reach out to uh, Raphael Weinroff Brown over in Canada. Um, I'd actually seen him play live with Leprous a few times in, in Manchester um, and was just pretty kind of stunned by his abilities uh, and I've sort of been loosely following him on Facebook for a while as well. Uh, we had brief contact a few years ago when um, when Spires played the Prog Power pre-party thing, um, but I really wasn't necessarily expecting him to, to to agree to do it. So I was obviously over the moon when when he uh, when he agreed to that. Um, and again, you know, not just sort of parroting the parts that I, that I gave him. I, I gave him some 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 written out parts that I was you know fairly happy with, um, but he really kind of he took those and and he added layering to them and stuff like that that i had not even thought about really um so it was just so nice to to see that you know he's not just doing the bare minimum there he's he's, he's really thinking about how he wants to contribute to the the sound of the album and stuff so uh, very very grateful to him um Nundru Almark, that's how you pronounce that name, Nundru, okay, that's important, is <laughs> um, actually an old friend from the Wakefield days, we, we kind of uh, grew up in the same town over in West Yorkshire, and uh, but now he lives in Old Man and has actually played previously with Spires on, I think it was just on the, on, on the Whisperer album, he played in a few songs there, the title track, uh, the opening track as well, Theory of Organisms and possibly others. Um, so again, you know, I had the utmost confidence in his abilities, and um, he actually got himself a little recording set up, uh, particularly, especially for this. So I'm uh, very grateful to him as well, and the results are incredible. I'm sure you'll agree when you when you hear it. Um, the the strings just give something to the album that I can't really describe. The well, I could describe it as a string section, um, but uh, they sound amazing, and I also just love the the internationalness of it. You know, we've got Canada. Oh man, I suppose it's a sign of the times, you could say. Um, but yeah. Extremely smooth. Uh, 
uh, on the whole. Uh, the drums were recorded in a day at Noise Boy Studios in, in Salford. Uh, I always end up going there because it's just brilliant. Um, Chris Taylor, who owns it, is, is just a really kind of helpful guy, which is essential <laughs> for me. I'm not hugely au fait with all the latest uh, equipment and techniques and stuff like that. I don't do it that often. Um, so it's just really useful to have him around helping and giving advice and so on. But yeah, uh, Tom absolutely bossed it on the, on, on, on the drums. Uh, admittedly, you know, it was a long day, uh, but uh, particularly for him. But I think we're both really, really happy with the results. Uh, hopefully you'll agree. Um, everything else apart from the strings, which were, as I've kind of mentioned, were recorded, uh, let's say, on location, um, was, was done around at, at, at my studio, or I don't know if I can say studio, uh, or you know, kind of my little dingy little music hovel uh, in my loft. Um, the bass recording was done over two days, uh, I think, yeah, um, including getting absolutely blind drunk <laughs> together overnight on the first night, which really added a you know a sense of despair and longing uh, to the some of the later songs on the album. <laughs> um, um, but uh, yeah, it went really really well. There was quite a lot of kind of trial and error of ideas with the with the bass recording. Um, I was basically written loads and loads of ideas based around the very very basic kind of parts that I'd, I'd given him uh, and uh, yeah we would we, it was just a really I really like working in that way it was just really kind of okay let's try this yeah, that works all right but how about this oh yeah that's the one and so on um, I just I really like working that way it's a real kind of dynamic way to work um, when it comes to recording I'm really happy with the bass obviously as well on this album and um, it's the tone and feel that that I think we've been kind of looking for for the past few uh, Spires albums as well. As I say, I want, really wanted it to be a bass-driven album, uh, and it's just come up. Well, no, sorry, I'm doing it again. I, um, yeah, anyway, it's fine, I suppose. <laughs> As a matter of fact there is, I'm so glad you asked. Uh, first up, uh, just a reminder that there will be a part two um, to this video in which I'll talk about again stuff like lyrics and uh, future plans, things like that, but most importantly any questions you might have, so I'll be answering any questions, so please get in touch, write in comments or whatever um, if you are wondering anything at all. Uh, finally, thank you so much to all the people who pre-ordered the album. Um, it, I'm really, really, really flattered and you've really kind of made this whole process worth it and easier as well. So I only hope uh, not to disappoint you. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Cheers.